In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to beat the cover two defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to my YouTube channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about teaching people how to become better Madden players and basically sharing with you what I learn as I learn it. Now if you have not already texted me, my cell phone number is 208 two one eight six nine zero zero and that's a great way for you to be able to connect with me and be able to ask your Madden questions whatever it may be and I'll do my best to help you another reason why I would recommend that you text me is because every single week I release a offensive or defensive scheme just to people who have texted me and so uh, right now we have about 15 different offensive and defensive schemes available for you spanning all through the U trips the ace sought offset the split close the bunch the trips tight in the bunch tight in the big nickel over G the 335 wide and so if you want to get those videos it's about 15 hours of video tutorials and breakdowns all you have to do is text the word Madden to my new cell phone number which is 208 218 6900 so make sure that you do that and by the end of the video it should have already sent you that full playlist okay guys I want to talk to you today about gun bunch um, I've been actually learning a lot more about the bunch back when i first started playing madden this was one of the first offenses that i immediately gravitated toward back in madden 12 um and it was actually there was a play called pa post which is very similar to the play double post from the carolina bunch but anyways in today's video i want to share with you um one of my favorite plays from madden pass and that is the mesh concept um and really the mesh corner from the New York Jets gun bunch. Uh, and, and I think the New York Jets might just have the best gun bunch in the entire game. So uh, I wanna go over with you to play mesh and I wanna share with you a really cool way that you can use this to be able to beat cover two in this game. Now, all I wanna do here is uh, I'm actually gonna come out in the Tampa two and I'm gonna show you two different types of cover two style defenses that you might face. Now, a lot of people that defend gun bunch will actually tend to want to man up the slot receiver. He's kind of seen as the quote unquote problem receiver in the gun bunch, the receiver that causes all of the trouble. And so you'll see a lot of people when they defend gun bunch, they will definitely um, man him up. Now, one thing I didn't show you was my zone drops. A lot of guys right now um, are running zone, uh, zone drops with these depths right here, 25, five and five. Um, 25 being on their cloud flats um, because cloud flats tend to play corner routes and crossing routes a little bit better than curl flats do so uh, anyway I'm just gonna come out in Tampa 2 here uh, from the gun bunch and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one little adjustment it's a very popular popular adjustment that people will make uh, against gun bunch and again I'm using the play mesh now what they're gonna do is they're gonna come out and they're gonna man up their slot corner onto your uh, wide receiver. That's a very popular tactic. And really what this is designed to do is it's designed to take away this Z spot route combination right here. As you see, he got him kind of bracketed coverage, got the cloud flat up there. And as you see, it's hard to get that corner route to work against it when it's manned up and there's a zone out there. So insert the mesh concept, the mesh play, and uh, here's your setup. It's relatively simple. Uh, all you're going to do is you're going to place your tight end on a streak. You're then going to place your right of screen inside slot receiver, which is your R1 receiver on an out route. And then from there, what I like to do is I like to place the left of screen solo receiver or the square receiver on an out route. And I like to use a smart routed option route to the triangle or Y receiver, which just happens to be your running back. So you're gonna place the X receiver on a streak, the R1 receiver on an out, the circle receiver, you're not gonna touch him at all. You want him on this um, inverted corner route. You can smart route it, but I'm gonna show you why you don't wanna do that in just a moment. And then as you see here on the left side, your square receiver's on an out, and your triangle receiver's on a smart routed option route. Now against cover two, what you're gonna notice here is that the circle receiver will get over the top. All you gotta do is just pass lead it up, and as you see, you're gonna have about a 50 yard dot against this type of coverage. Um, so again, you know, your, your simple setup is, is really, you know, as you can see right here, and you're using your tight end as your pull route because a lot of people don't man up the tight end. 
right? And that's gonna help us against some other coverages right here. Um, and, and right there, now one of the things that you do need is you do need them to press coverage, okay? You saw there, like if, they, if they're just sitting in a coverage like this and they're off coverage, um, it's gonna be a little bit harder for this corner route to have success because that corner back is, is back there. I mean, you see right there, we're still able to fit it in, but it's a lot tighter of a window. What we're looking for is a press type of uh, look right here because what you'll notice is these zone drops, especially the out of a cover two style uh, of zone drop, when they're pressed up, those flats are not gonna play as deep. They're gonna play a little bit shallower and you'll see right here, he kind of drifts, drifts, drifts. And this is what allows us the spacing to hit this route for several, several yards. Now, another little thing that people will do against Gun Bunch, it's actually something that I recommend, is they'll use some match zone drop type of coverage where they'll basically call cover four quarters. They'll put their outside corners in cloud flats, and then they'll take that blitzing linebacker and man him up on the slot. So if anything goes vertical, they, in theory, have two people defending them. Well, the beauty of this play is the tight end is the one that goes vertical, and the slot receiver is the one that goes underneath. And so now, you can identify that. So as you'll see right here, this should be a pretty good dot uh, right over the top here. Just pass lead it up, click on, and as you can see, you're killing that cover four quarter popular style of defense. So this is a great route combination against cover two and something that you can really use to beat zone. Now you might be asking, well, okay, what about, um, what about a 30 yard cloud flat? Okay, and I wanted to dive into that just for a second here because I do think that you will certainly see um, 30 yard cloud flats in this game uh, as people start, especially as people start to figure out that 30 yard cloud flats really do okay uh, when it comes to taking some of this stuff away. So I do want to talk about that just briefly here. And this is, this is the Tampa two. And again, we're gonna be coming out in the play mesh setup. We're gonna put the X receiver on a streak the RB receiver on and out, and then we've got this backside stuff that we're gonna be able to accomplish here on the backside. Now, if you look here, uh, we're on the 25 yard line, so a 30 yard cloud flat should drop all the way back to about midfield, um, but you'll see right here, you're still able to get over. This is a 30 yard cloud flat that he's getting over. As you can see right there, as long as they press coverage out of their Tampa 2 style defense, this is going to work like crazy. You're gonna have so much success, and what you're gonna force is gonna force them to have to man up the the running or the uh, slot receiver here on the circle uh, position. As you see right here, even with man coverage, even with 30 yards, even with deep out KO, you're still able to have a window to be able to hit that circle receiver. So I just wanna thank you for watching this video, guys. I do wanna cover one last thing here with the quarters, but if you wanna get the full gun bunch scheme, I would highly encourage you to text me my number is eight or uh, my number is two zero eight uh, two one eight six nine zero zero and again you'll see right here this 30 yard cloud flat out of a cover four quarter type alignment just pass lead it up and as you can see you're dotting up a 30 yard cloud flat over there when he's isolated even with a deep half over it this is a phenomenal phenomenal route one of the most important routes in my opinion from a gun bunch type of offense because it forces them to have to do something different than just simply be able to play cover two or cover three match you're really able to um, really force them to have to do some stuff so thanks for watching this video i hope Hope you enjoyed it and like i said if you want to get the full gun bunch scheme go ahead and text the word madden to my new cell phone number which is 208-218-6900 also if you have any questions you can text those to me as well as that is my cell phone number and then last thing i did want to say is if you want to come hang out on stream and see me run some gun bunch and some bunch tight in i'll be running that um on tonight's stream at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time thanks for your time hope you guys have a great rest of your day